These are all 35 ultimate moves in My Hero Academia, so let's get right into it with the ultimate moves of every Class 1A student, and who better to start with other than Shoto Todoroki. Shoto's ultimate move is Great Glacial Aegir, a move that reflects his complete mastery over both ice and fire. Shoto builds up his fire and ice, rushes toward his opponent, hits them with his fist, and unleashes a massive wave of cold fire. This overwhelming ultimate move freezes everything in its path, creating an impenetrable wall of ice. In battle, it's a shield, a barrier, and a weapon all in one. Shoto first uses this move against Dobby during the final war. This move's power was enough to completely extinguish Dobby's inferno he made with his blue flame quirk and to temporarily incapacitate the villain. It was used a second time at a more powerful level to dissipate Dobby's near explosion. Next up is Mina Ashido, and her ultimate move is Acid Man Alma. Mina's acid quirk lets her secrete corrosive acid from her body, and with this move, she takes it to the extreme. She covers her entire body in a thick corrosive shield of acid, making her both impenetrable and deadly to anyone who dares to come close. She can even control the viscosity and potency of the acid, allowing her to either defend against powerful attacks or launch offensive strikes. Mezo Shoji's Octospansion takes his already versatile quirk, Dupli Arms, to the next level. In this ultimate move, Shoji morphs his arm into a giant fist composed of numerous different body parts and deals a powerful blow against his opponent. This ultimate move was first used against Spinner where we finally see Shoji's incredible physical strength. Red Riot Unbreakable, the crowning technique of Eijiro Kirishima. By maxing out the hardening capabilities of his quirk, Kirishima becomes a human fortress, impervious to nearly any attack. His body hardens to the point of being nearly indestructible, allowing him to charge through battlefields without flinching. His attack power also receives a significant boost as his attacks become more fierce. However, Kirishima can only use this ultimate move for 40 seconds at a time. Kyokujiro's Heartbeat Surround Legato is the ultimate expression of her sound-based quirk. By channeling sound waves through her earphone jacks, Jiro generates a massive, omnidirectional sonic blast that can paralyze and disorient enemies. The beauty of this move lies in its control, as she can target specific enemies or cover a large area, making it versatile for both crowd control and focused attacks. It's a move that hits both body and mind, leaving opponents helpless in the face of her sonic power. When Denki Kaminari unleashes indiscriminate shock 2 million volts, he becomes an electrified whirlwind of destruction. Kaminari's electric quirk is all about raw, uncontrollable power, and this move cranks it up to 2 million volts. The attack hits everyone within range with a devastating electric surge. However, this increase in power causes Denki's brain to short-circuit faster. Tenya Ida, with his ultimate move maximum speed, pushes his engine quirk to its limits. Tenya charges his engines to the absolute maximum, then releases that charge, traveling at speeds that supersede even those of Recipro Turbo. This move is so fast that it is able to deal damage to surrounding buildings just by flying past them. This move doesn't just make him faster, it grants him superhuman reflexes and overwhelming offensive power in a short span. Now for the explosive dynamo, Katsuki Bakugo and his devastating Howitzer Impact Cluster. Similar to his howitzer impact, Bakugo creates explosions to propel himself in a circular motion, gathering oxygen and momentum to fuel the subsequent, more powerful explosion. However, by employing the strafe panzer and the cluster technique, he is able to perform this on a much deadlier scale, as well as spray explosions in all directions, further adding to the destructive power. It's a fiery spectacle that leaves enemies reeling. Toru Hagakure and Yuga Aoyama make for an unusual but effective team especially with their combined ultimate move, Warp Refraction, Naval Laser. Aoyama's quirk allows him to fire concentrated beams of laser energy, while Toru can manipulate light. In this ultimate move, Toru manipulates Yuga's laser beam, spreading the light in all directions, blinding and damaging anything in the vicinity. Ochako Uraraka's ultimate move is her final form, which she achieves when she awakened her zero-gravity quirk. When it comes to the awakening of zero-gravity, things get taken a level beyond. With the awakening of this power, Uraraka can make anyone and anything levitate in the air without even having to touch them. The awakening of Uraraka's quirk embodies Ochako's growth and showcases her heroism. Tokoyami's Dark Shadow quirk is already terrifying, but with Light of Baldur, it becomes nearly unstoppable. In this move, Tokoyami uses the power of the Total Release technique. Tokoyami enlarges Dark Shadow to its largest and most powerful form, and Dark Shadow then uses its fist to punch a target into the ground. Tokoyami first uses this move against All for One during the final war. Rikido Sato, the sugar-fueled powerhouse, 
unleashes his full strength with Sugar Knuckle. By consuming massive amounts of sugar, Sato dramatically increases his strength, and in this ultimate move, he focuses all that power into one gigantic punch. Sugar Knuckle is a purely physical attack, but its sheer force can level walls, shatter steel, and send opponents flying across the battlefield. Sato first uses this move against All for One during the final war. Momo Yaoyorozu, the brilliant tactician, uses her ultimate move, Machine Gun, Shield and Staff, to create an all-out combination of offense and defense. Thanks to her creation quirk, Momo produces a machine gun capable of rapid-fire attacks, a durable shield to block incoming damage, and a staff for close-quarters combat. She seamlessly switches between these weapons, adapting to any situation on the battlefield. Tsuyuasui doesn't have a true ultimate move. Instead, she uses her frog-like abilities to make full use of her agility and amphibious strength in all of her attacks. Mashirao Ojiro's ultimate move uses his tail quirk to create his tornado tail dance. In this ultimate move, Ojiro gets in close to his target and swiftly spins his tail around in a circle to strike anything in the vicinity. He first uses this technique to destroy several of Pony Tsunatori's remote-controlled horns during the joint training battle. Next is the gentle Koji Koda, who using his voice, Koji commands a swarm of bugs to his opponent's position to overwhelm them with the ultimate move, Buggin' Out. Koji first uses this ultimate move against present Mike during his and Kyokujiro's first term final exam. Koji initially had a fear of bugs, but after he noticed that Jiro's ears were bleeding from overusing her quirk, he found his resolve and used this move, showing his growth into a capable hero. Hanta Siro's ultimate move is Barricade Tape, which is a very powerful defensive and support move. Hanta covers his surroundings with a large quantity of tape in order to protect himself and others from enemy attacks, showing how capable his tape quirk is. Minoru Mineda, the pervy hero, uses his pop-off quirk to create his ultimate move, Vineyard. Minoru performs this move by creating a vineyard with his pop-off spheres, which acts as a snare, which is a very helpful long-range capture attack. And at last, we come to the last member of Class 1A, Izuku Midoriya. His ultimate move, Gear Shift Overdrive, is the result of him mastering the Gear Shift Quirk, one of the many powers stored within One for All. In this move, Deku can shift the speed and direction of anything he touches, including himself. By activating Gear Shift on himself, Deku is able to propel himself at great speeds toward his opponents in order to land powerful attacks. This boost in speed and power is able to be applied to existing ultimate moves. Fajin is also used to give the move greater speed. Deku uses Gear Shift and Fajin on himself, increasing his speed and boosting his power to catch up to opponents and unleash powerful attacks on them. The force he unleashes is described as 120% of one for all. Now let's start talking about the ultimate moves of characters outside of Class 1A, and let's start with the current number one hero, Endeavor. Endeavor's ultimate move is Plus Ultra Prominence Burn, which is the ultimate embodiment of firepower. In this move, Endeavor grapples his target and unleashes a concentrated superheated beam of fire from his body which is more powerful than the original, capable of vaporizing enemies in an instant. This move is incredibly dangerous, not just to opponents but to Endeavor himself, as it pushes his body to its absolute limit. It's a display of raw, unrelenting force, and Endeavor himself stated that this is his most powerful technique. Best Genist's Thread of Hope is the pinnacle of his Fiber Master quirk. With this move, Genist can control threads with such precision that he can immobilize even the most powerful foes, using the threads to bind, incapacitate, and even strike at his enemies. During the Paranormal Liberation War, he used this ultimate move to restrain Dabi, Gigantomachia, Shigaraki, Mr. Compress, and Spinner all at once. Hawk's ultimate move takes advantage of Kyokujiro's legato, his Soundwave Vibration-enhanced Flight Feather Blade. Hawks flies toward the side of the Soundwave Beam, enters his katana into it, and drives his katana into his opponent with the force of the sound waves. This move has enough power to break even the toughest of materials and shatter his own katana. Hawks first used this move against All for One during the final war. Mirko's Luna Fall is a move that combines agility and precision. Mirko swings her foot downwards while she is above her opponent, driving her target straight into the ground beneath her feet with a mighty kick, showcasing Mirko's incredible physical strength and determination. Star and Stripe's state-of-the-art hypersonic intercontinental cruise punch is as overwhelming as it sounds. Using her quirk, New Order, she imposes a rule on reality itself. In this ultimate move, she turns the air around her into a giant. Kathleen then grabs the Tiamat missiles with her giant air self and uses New Order to command the missiles to change trajectory. 
allowing her to swing them around and unleash a giant air punch that releases a super massive explosion. If Shigaraki hadn't been able to evade this attack, he would have been turned into dust. Next up is the nimble and deadly edge shot. His quirk, Folda Body, allows him to stretch and thin his body to almost paper-like levels, and with his ultimate move, Thousand Sheet Pierce Zenith, he uses this ability to the extreme. Edge Shot stretches his body to be able to enter the body of another person and acts as medical suture, repairing damaged organs. Tamaki Majiki and Nejira Hado, two of UA High's big three, combine their powers to create a devastating ultimate move, named Plasma Cannon. Amajiki uses his manifest quirk to transform parts of his body into powerful, armored appendages from the food he's consumed, while Najira uses her wave motion quirk to generate spiraling energy blasts. Together, they create a fusion of raw physical strength and high-energy waves that coalesce into a massive cannon of destructive force, and this move highlights the unmatched synergy between these two. Someone's ultimate move that we also have to mention is Gentle, or as most people probably know him, Gentle Criminal. Gentle is a former independent villain and an internet celebrity, who sided with the heroes during the fight against Shigaraki, and Gentle's ultimate move is Gently Super Lover. While powered up with Labrava's Lover Mode, Gentle summons an incredibly large aerial elastic barrier, which is able to hold up the falling UA Flying Fortress. Now, let's move to the villain's ultimate moves, and let's first talk about Dabi and his devastating Flash Fire Fist. Channeling superheated blue flames through his quirk, Dabi can unleash concentrated blasts of fire that incinerate anything in their path. His flames are hotter than Endeavor's, and with Flash Fire Fist he uses them with surgical precision. This ultimate move reveals the extent of Dabi's hatred and destructive potential. Twice's ultimate move, Sadman's Parade, is both tragic and powerful. Using his double quirk, Twice can create endless duplicates of himself. This move creates a massive army of Twices, each capable of independent action, overwhelming opponents with sheer numbers. While the move is incredibly dangerous, it also reveals the deep sadness and psychological trauma Twice carries, making it a haunting ultimate move. Himiko Toga, after being able to use Twice's quirk, unleashes Sad Man's Legion. By using her Transform quirk to duplicate Twice's double quirk, Himiko is able to create a legion of clones that take the appearance of several heroes and villains, whose blood was taken from the battlefield of the Gunga Mountain Villa Ruins. This move shows just how deadly and versatile Toga can be. Tamura Shigaraki's ultimate move is not actually just one move, it's his ultimate form we are going to talk about, which is his Quirk Awakening. Shigaraki's awakening one of the most terrifying evolutions in the world of MHA. After awakening his Decay Quirk to its full potential, Shigaraki can now destroy entire cities with just a touch. The range of his decay extends to anything connected to his target, meaning one hand can trigger a chain reaction that spreads destruction over a massive area. It's a symbol of Shigaraki's ambition to bring about absolute ruin. At last, we have one of the most feared villains in the entire My Hero Academia universe. All for One's Omni Factor Unleash is the ultimate expression of his quirk-stealing ability. With this move, All for One combines dozens of stolen quirks into a single, overwhelming attack. He can release shockwaves, generate energy blasts, and augment his strength to godlike levels, all at once. This move is the pinnacle of his accumulated power, making him nearly unstoppable. It's no wonder he's one of the most dangerous threats the heroes have ever faced. And there you have it, all 35 ultimate moves in My Hero Academia. So which ultimate move is your favorite, and who do you think has the strongest attack in the series? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into the world of My Hero Academia. Until next time, Plus Ultra.